In this video, we will look at the built-in heap queue module in Python. Let us create a Python file and give the name as heap queue module. Python provides a built-in module known as heap queue, and this module has several methods such as heap push, heap pop, heap push pop, heapify, as well as n largest and n smallest. Let us look at how these methods of heap queue module works. Very first statement would be to import heap queue module and use as heap in our Python program. We will create a blank list with the name as L. We will use heap dot heap push and pass the list as well as the element to be inserted in the heap. We will insert 20. We will insert another element 14. The same way we will insert 5 and element 15, element 10 as well as element 2. Now we will print the list. Let us run this program. The list has been displayed but usually what happens is when we add elements to the list, it will be assigned in the list in the sequence as they are added. Here you can find that element 2 is the first element in the list though we are inserting it at the end. So the method heap push of the heap queue module is creating the list as a heap. We will use another method known as heap pop of the heap module. So we will use heap dot heap pop and pass the list. We will print the element which has been deleted from the heap. So let us use as print heap dot heap pop. You can find that the element 2 has been popped out. We will again print the heap that is the list. You can observe that the heap has deleted the element 2 and here the list is displayed after the delete operation has been performed. The heap data structure which we have implemented in Python was a max heap. But the heap queue module here uses a min heap. So therefore the root of the heap has the minimum element. Now heap also has a method push pop. We will use heap dot heap push pop and pass the list as well as the element to be pushed. In this case, let us pass the element as 18. We will print the heap again. Now you can find that heap has deleted the root that is the minimum element 5 and as well has inserted in the same operation element 18. We will use print statement here, print heap push and pop. Now if you see, this is very clear. It is popping out the element 5 and at the same time pushing the element 18. The heap module also has a method known as n largest. Now let us create a list l1 and we will use heap dot n largest. The first argument would be an integer that is the number of largest elements in the heap to be returned. So let us use 3 comma l. We will now print l1 that is the list containing n largest numbers of the heap. You will find that the heap had 5 elements and the largest are 20, 18 and 15. We can as well use heap dot n smallest and let us pass 3 comma the heap itself that is L and we will print L2. You can find that n smallest numbers from this heap has been returned. The heap module also has a method heapify. Let us create a list L3 with some elements. For example, 20, 14, 2, 15, 10, and 21. Now this list is not a heap. Therefore, we will use heap dot heapify, that is make the list L3 as a heap and pass the list L3 itself. And after that, let us print the list L3. We will print the list before heapifying as well as after heapifying. Now you will see that these are the elements which was there in the list as we have created. After applying the heapify operation, the list has been converted into a heap. So here we have seen the heap queue module as well as we have demonstrated how each method of heap queue module works.